Halloween season is upon us, and Brett Dickey is live at the Corn Maze. Hey, Brett and Clio. Good, good morning. The Let's go uh, to the dark side. Here we go. We're, we're going in, Liz. Uh, you know what? Let's just see what happens. Okay, we got a little strobe action. Okay. All right, not bad. Here we go. We got some blood on the walls. Not bad. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> That's some blood on the walls. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, okay, we're going back in the dark now. We're going to go turn on the light again. Here we go. We're in the corn Ooh. maze. We're walking through. We're walking. We're walking. Now, you have to understand, Brett is in the dark, but you can also go through this maze in the dark because they are open. Till midnight, At right? night, yes. Yeah. Some oh! Yeah. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a witch bro. Oh. Eyeballs, which is uh, uh, okay. That's disgusting. Some spooky surprises. <laughs> Sharita agrees with you that that is disgusting. Oh, this wow. guy, look at this. This guy's awesome. Check that out. No. Some zombies. You Some don't want guy? him knocking on your door. No. <laughs> now Who's you guys might not know about this, but Brett is a big Halloween fan. Yeah. Brett Aren't is spooky Brett? in and of himself, right? He's a spooky guy. <laughs> Who are all these people, Brett? What are they doing out there at six? What in the do morning? you got? I'm telling you, they got out here six in the morning to show off their uh, the dark side through the yet. car maze. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it, it is uh, pretty cool. So far, so good. Of course, a couple corn mazes and this Halloween uh, extravaganza they got going through here, the dark side. And on Halloween, they will be doing trick or treating with no scares, just uh, just kids coming through and uh, enjoying the sight. So this is really, really cool. Take your Not umbrella to the corn maze, ladies. <laughs> hey, that's right. That's where Brett Dickey is this morning. And Clio, hey, Brett. Hey, good morning. Absolutely. We're right here in the thick of it, in the corn maze here at Circus Park in Clio with Phil. Phil, this is awesome. Now, what's the design of these corn mazes? Uh, we have a uh, scarecrow and a pumpkin and a, and a crow uh, this year, kind of a Halloween theme. Nice, nice. Scarecrow. Yeah, now, well, why not? Now, you said you got a couple miles back here. What does it take to build one of these mazes? Well, we hire a company called Maze Play out of uh, Idaho, and we submit a design to them, and they use a GPS, and they come out here and, and design it and nice. cut it with a rototiller. The guy can't see anything but his computer, so he's just driving that a tractor so cool. blind. The technology yeah. is so awesome, and you know what? A few years ago, it would, obviously in the news, there was a family that was lost in a corn maze. You guys actually had a family that uh, themselves were lost. We did. I believe it was our second year here. Uh, we had a family got lost in, uh, on a Saturday afternoon, and... and uh, Got a little scared and called 911, and oh the, my sheriff, word. the sheriff showed up out here. Yeah. Uh, we sent some people in, and we found them easy enough. Oh, Adams, they were okay, good and healthy and everything. I mean, that's got to be terrifying. It was during the day, right? It was, yeah. It was a little more scary for the little kid there that uh, when mom mom panicked a little bit, and I guess the uh, kids <laughs> panicked even more. So. Yeah. <laughs> they see mom and dad panic. Uh, that's why, it worked out okay, though. Oh, yeah. That's oh, why it's goodness. important to take snacks out there when you're in that maze. That's right. Take yeah. food, flashlights if you're going at night, of course. <laughs> and, uh, hey, Circus Park here in Kyle's got a couple of great corn mazes uh, yeah, and maybe the next program, couple of weekends. Maybe program the number of their, their number instead of having to call 911 mm -hmm. save yeah. free them yeah. up I mean exactly <laughs>